and I want to review everybody's schedule because the amount of calls I deal with of people who seem to be teaching just far too much, not really having a clue about the importance of their schedule. So, the purpose of your schedule is to teach less but give more back to your students. And here's what I mean. By giving more, you're actually going to be encouraging your students to come less often. I can't tell you how many owners I speak to who have less than 100 students who are running 20 classes a week. Well, the simple math on that will mean that there's approximately five people in every class. And so by giving more classes, you're actually encouraging your students to come less often. They come less consistently and they have the attitude, well, if I miss today, it's okay because I can come tomorrow. Oh, I can miss today's training. It's not a problem. I'll do it tomorrow. Listen, you and I, we all, as martial arts school owners, are all great procrastinators. We will put everything off to the last minute. And don't sit there and tell me that you don't because I know you do. We all do it. All those things that we don't like to do or that we can do tomorrow generally, we do tomorrow. But guess what? Tomorrow never comes. So we've got to emphasize this over and over again. Less is actually more when it comes to running your schedule. You've got to have set days for them to train. They want very specific days. If you think back, uh, I certainly think back to my martial arts times, my martial arts training days, when I had very specific set times to train, if I missed those two days, that was it. I only had the opportunity to train twice a week. It was run out of a YMCA, a sports club, a community centre actually in England. And if I didn't train on Tuesday or Thursday, I couldn't train till well the following Tuesday or Thursday. So I missed any one of those days, then, well, I'd missed a whole week of training. Well, what does that mean? Well, quite frankly, it meant that it didn't happen. I always made those two days consistently for like a 10-year period. And at the time, I remember being a child, and I had to get on a bus. And at one of the venues, I had to get on a bus, and then on a train, and then on another bus at the other end. And listen, not to tell you my sob story, but just to tell you the importance of having set days to train set appointments so you have set days and almost running it like a set appointment the students know that this is their time when they train let me cover some golden rules for you for setting out and laying out your schedule 